All right, this is for my week five assignment essay for New Testament. Um, this one, uh, the instructions are, in 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul addresses a number of contentious topics, such as sexuality, marriage, divorce, the single life, eating meat, gender roles, and the use of signs like tongues. So we're supposed to choose one topic and explain the background and cultural, like, religious stuff. Okay, so the topic that I chose to do is eating meat because in our culture, it doesn't really, like, make sense. Like, it doesn't make sense that um, the Jewish people, like, don't eat certain kinds of meat. For example, they don't eat the meat of cloven animals. I believe it's, like, pig. they don't eat pig or, like, anything like that. So, um, or pork. So... In our culture today, we obviously eat all sorts of meat. Like, it's just something, it's, like, weird that um, someone wouldn't be able to, like, go to McDonald's and just get a hamburger. So, after some research, um, basically, in the Jewish culture, they um, use the term kosher, and that's used to describe food that complies with the strict dietary standards of the traditional Jewish law. So, um, kosher is more than just, like, health and food safety basically it's like a, just a religious tradition that they practice so um but however like not all jewish communities adhere to like the strict kosher guidelines um some individuals may choose to follow only certain rules or some none at all so um what does kosher even mean it's basically um deprived from the hebrew word that i'm not going to try to pronounce but it basically means pure, proper, or suitable for consumption. So basically, um, if you were good to go to a Jewish grocery store or market, all the food in there would be kosher. So basically, they like pray over it and bless it. <clears throat> so um, the foundation for this is in the Torah. And um, basically, that the Torah has instructions for practical application of these laws. And it's been passed down through oral um, tradition so um that has it outlines the foods that are allowed and forbidden and how they should be produced processed and prepared so they have to have go through this certain process of um like preparing their food to make sure that it's kosher so um the three main kosher food categories are meat dairy and pareve so mammals and fowl um, or like products deprive them, so like bones or broth, um, that's like their meat. The dairy, milk, cheese, butter, and yogurt, and the pareve, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, is like any food that is not meat or dairy, so like fish, eggs, and plant-based foods. So according to kosher, tra tra kosher tra tradition, any food categorized as meat may never be served or eaten at the same time as a dairy product. So, or the same meal as a dairy product. So you can't have um, your steak with a glass of milk or like steak with butter or anything. Anything that's meat can't be mixed with um, anything that's dairy at the same time in the same meal. You also, all utensils and equipment must be used, processed, and clean meat and dairy must be kept separate, even down to the sinks in which they're washed. So everything needs to be like kept separate. They can't mix anything, which uh, like to me is obviously really weird because I'm not Jewish. And it, I don't know. I like butter on my steak, so that's kind of sad. <laughs> so after eating the meat, you must wait a designated amount of time before consuming any dairy products. So um, the traditional waiting time for that would be between one and six hours. And then um, pre food items, so that's like non dairy or meat, are considered neutral and may be eaten alongside either meat or dairy. However, if a pre food item is processed, are prepared using any equipment used to process meat or dairy it may be reclassified as meat dairy or non-kosher so basically you can't mix any dairy or meat products but you the pareve foods so like eggs and all that stuff they can be mixed i don't know it sounds really weird to me but that's just like something that they do so um the meat must come from ruminant animals with cloven or split hooves such as cows sheep goats lambs oxen and deer so they won't eat pigs or anything like or like that so the per only permitted cuts of meat from the four quarters and kosher ruminant animals so they only like eat certain parts of the animal um 
Certain domesticated fowl can be eaten like chicken, geese, quail, dove, and turkey. The animal must be slaughtered by a shoshet or a person trained and certified to butcher animals according to Jewish, law, Jewish laws. So like they're not gonna just, they have to like be prepared a certain way. They even have to be killed a certain way. So it's, I'm running a little long in this video, so I'm gonna sum it up really quick. Basically, um, pigs, rabbits, squirrels, camels, kangaroos, or horses, um, eagles, owls, gold, hawks, any of that stuff is not considered kosher. Kosher is basically a way to eat, and it's just basically a tradition that Jew Jews have followed for centuries and centuries. And so it's just weird to us, but that's like a little brief rundown.